Hello, welcome. This is our second video in our week uh, three series of AutoCAD uh, assignments uh, that we're putting together. This one's on the floor plan, the second video of the floor plan. And what we've done in the previous video is we laid out our house mostly with poly lines and we scaled everything up in our uh, A size uh, layout. And now we remembered what our scale factor is, which is uh, our scale is actually 1 16th of an inch is equal to a foot, which makes our scale factor 192. We're going to go uh, back to our model space. We're going to begin to dimension this a little bit, keeping that scale factor in mind, by going to the Annotate tab, going to the Dimension Style Modify, and instead of 4192. The desire here is to try to dimension as we go. I think you'll find it a lot uh, less frustrating if we can dimension everything as we go, if it kind of looks the way we like it, then we can move on to the next step. Otherwise, we need to make corrections to it, and if it isn't quite right, then we're going to make corrections to it before we move on. So, go to our linear dimension, 54 feet if I remember right, that was 20 feet, maybe this is going to serve as a garage, it's 30 feet, 30 feet here, now the, yeah these are all in the whole foot units which is a requirement for exterior walls. And I usually try to discourage uh, dimensions that cross each other. But it, it's permissible inside of a corner if there's no other alternatives, and it's good, always good to keep your dimensions to the outside. So, because the inside of the house has gotten a lot more detail to it, but do make sure you move your text around too while you're doing that. To continue on, it should be 19 feet, and zoom extents. For some reason, my mouse wheel that's uh, allowing me to go in really close, but it won't allow me to go really far. So let's do this. I'm gonna type in Z enter instead of E enter. I'm gonna do minus and then enter and then point one that'll put the, the house really far out and now that zoom range on the middle mouse button the dynamic zoom range is going to be a lot uh, you know within bounds that I find uh, a lot more acceptable so our last dimension and the longest wall of the house perfect that all looks like it lines up one thing that's missing here we have a number of poly lines we have a single poly line here we have two poly lines here are connected and we have the balance of the poly lines connected over there. How do you make these all one poly lines? You want to make them all one poly line because when you do the offset, you want to be able to offset as one full unit. Let's do this. This is how you do it. Go to the fillet command. If it's the first time you've done the fillet command for the day, it's radius down here that you can see in the command line is zero feet, zero inches, which is okay. If it's not zero feet, zero inches, tap in R, enter, zero, enter and then dimension or fillet uh, the two sections of the poly lines that you want to put together. So we're going to start with this one and put those together. What it does is it puts a zero radius or it just puts a nice square corner between those two. So if you rest your cursor on those uh, three, those two poly lines, now they are one consisting of three segments. Spacebar, we're going to click on that poly line and this poly line and connect those now you notice that all the poly lines are connected in one big polygon. You want to have something like that because the next step, it makes the next step easier. As we mentioned in class, our next step is going to be to offset this line. The line that we're looking at here is a line that represents the exterior of, uh, of the house. And when you think about these lines, as you're moving your cursor over, that, over a line like that, it doesn't matter whether it's AutoCAD or Revit, a line means something very specific. It means some sort of interface between one substance and another. When you're talking about just a basic floor plan here, it's between a void or air that's out here, and as you move across that line, you move into something else, which would be a solid. And what we're going to do is we're going to offset that line to the inside so that uh, we have two lines. One line represents the outside of the wall, and the other line represents the inside of the wall. So we will save that for our next video.